A very very good morning children. Hope you are all doing fine and also listening to the videos regularly. So today we are going to see a new lesson which is a hero. And the theme of the lesson is fortune favors the brave. Fortune favors the brave. So here fortune in the sense here luck. Luck also favors those who are really brave. Okay. So here uh, we are going to the lesson which is called as a hero we'll see who is a hero here in this lesson so come to the page number 18 7 come to the page number 18 7 father was sitting under the hall lamp and reading the newspaper he looked over the newspaper and said swami listen to this news has been received about the bravery of a village lad who was hidden from home by the jungle path so here there is a discussion between the father and the son. Father was sitting under the hall lamp. There was a lamp in the hall. He was uh, sitting under the lamp and then what he was doing is he was reading the newspaper. So he looked over the newspaper because his son was sitting on the other side. He looked over the newspaper and then he, what did he what tell his son and his uh, name of the son is Swami. Name of the son is Swami. So he told Swami that See Swami, there is a news in the newspaper and it says about the bravery of a young lad, a young lad, a small boy who is a village boy and he was reading from a jungle path. Jungle in the sense here, forest. So a small boy was coming from the way of a forest and then he showed some kind of bravery like no he showed his courage so now what did he show while he was in the middle of the jungle he came face to face with a tiger so while he was coming from the jungle and how here what did he do he came face to face with a tiger so he has to face a tiger so the newspaper gave a detailed account of the boy's fight with the tiger so in the newspaper you can read a complete fight with the tiger, a detailed, uh, like you know, how he fought with the tiger and what. So that is completely given in the newspaper. And then, then the boy uh, flew up a tree where he stayed half a day. Then it also describes how this boy ran to a tree and uh, he, uh, like you know, climbed the tree and stayed there for half a day. Stayed there for half a day. And after half a day, some people came by that way and then they killed the tiger and they saved that boy. So here, this newspaper article shows the courage of the boy. How, like, you know, the boy was very, very courageous and how he showed his courage in fighting with the tiger and also trying to save himself from the tiger and how he climbed the tree. And also that is how the newspaper article explained. This is what uh, father told him, Swami. Then... After reading it through, father looked at Swami fixedly and asked, what do you say to that? So after reading the complete uh, news, uh, like article, he did the complete article and then he turned to Swami and he said that, Swami, what do you think of this article? So what is your opinion on this article? And then uh, our Swami answered, I think he must have been a very strong and a grown up person. So Swami said that, uh, Daddy, father, I think that this man this boy who really fought with the tiger is not a boy at all. He is a very grown up man and also maybe he is very 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 strong. Say Swami and you know how a boy could fight with the tiger. That that is absolutely false that a boy cannot fight with the tiger. So he must be a very grown up boy, a man and also very very strong enough to fight with the tiger. Only those people can fight with the tigers otherwise you cannot fight with the tiger. Uh, you think you better, you know, better than the newspaper? Father asked, cro father said crossly. So, father, like, no, he has some kind of angry that is, he's told crossly to his son. In the sense, a little angrily, he told his son that, do you know more than a newspaper? Do you know more than a newspaper? So, you know, uh, like, no, a detailed account what the newspaper could not uh, print here. So, you know more about that. A man may have a strength of an elephant and yet be covered. You know, a man, may, he might have some very good strength and he, he, he might have the strength of an elephant also, but that fellow will be a covered. Covered in the sense, who is afraid of even a small thing also? Who is afraid of anything? A small thing also, like, he'll be called as a covered. In Telugu, we call it as Perikivaru. 
right so even though he has a strength of an elephant very strong very well built body but he might be a coward he might be afraid of every thing and another may be a rare skeleton like no a mere skeleton so if a person like no other person like no is a very like no very thin like the skeleton but if he has a real courage he can do anything if that boy has a real courage if he re, if he has a very good courage then he could do any thing so even a strength of an if a person has strength of an elephant maybe he is a coward but if he is a even a mere skeleton a kind of a very thin boy also if he has the real courage he can do any thing courage is everything so what his father says that courage is everything and age doesn't matter much so if you have real courage your age doesn't matter you can do anything if you have the courage suppose and then uh, swami has how it can be father how it can be father how it's it's not right at all see suppose i had lot of courage do you think i can go and fight with a tiger daddy if i have lot of courage do you think i can go and fight with a tiger and what if a tiger would attack me If tiger comes and attacks me, do you think I will go and fight with the tiger? I can't win, even though I have a lot of courage. Then father asks him a question. Oh, okay. So you are talking about the courage. So can you prove me that you have courage? Can you prove you have courage? Said father with a scowl. So he has scowl in the sense an angry look. Said, if let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room. So really, uh, Swami, if you have real courage, if you say that you really have the courage so you have to sleep in my office room tonight so tonight where you have to sleep you have to sleep in my office room so do you think you have courage for that swami like no he was a very like no small boy he has always slept beside his granny always sat slept beside his granny so that is his grandmother so he always sleeps beside his granny the two always had their beds side by side so these people used to have their beds side by side so they sleep on they used to sleep on the ground they used to sleep side by side and uh, any change in his arrangement keep him trembling and awake till all night so if there is any change if there is any i mean if the grandmother is not sleeping with the boy that is the swami or if uh, the child is asked to see, uh, sleep at some other place and also that would be a differently completely different situation so he will be trembling he will be trembling he will be you know he will he will shake with fear and then he will be awake all the night so if there was any arrangement like this, for example if granny has gone to some other place she could not come back uh, to that particular night or if this boy has to sleep all alone then he would tremble like anything he will shiver like anything and he'll awake he'll be awake all the night so that is how the child uh, like no used to behave when he's all alone but is now his father is saying that he has to sleep where completely alone in the office room so he hoped first father was only joking so uh, swami thought that may, he, maybe his uh, father was completely joking so he was jo- doing something telling something to just evoke some kind of laughter he's only just joking and he thought that and he tried to change the topic by saying so he immediately he, he changed the topic you know what he said he tried to change the topic by saying father our captain says we shall have some elders in our cricket uh, uh, in our cricket club so he said that daddy daddy father i just want to say something our captain no like he was saying that our team also should have some elders in the cricket club he has asked me to tell you so he just asked me to tell you inform you that so if you are willing so you can also come and join our cricket club we will see it about later and father like no he did not listen to what swami was saying he just simply said that come on we'll see about that later here after you must sleep alone so from now on words what you should do is you should sleep alone that's it so you will not sleep with your granny from the first uh, he said that okay father definitely but from the first of the next month from the first of the next month i will sleep alone swami said very very humbly very politely with a very huge respect he told that daddy from the next month from the first of the next month i will sleep with, sleep all alone and uh, he was trying to please his father so he tried maximum to uh, make his father happy by saying these words no you must do it right from today so no no you can't do that not first of the next month 
from today itself you have to sleep all alone from today itself you have to sleep all alone father said sternly sternly in the sense here it's very very seriously he told that no not from the first of the next month from today itself you have to sleep all alone you have to sleep all alone that is what swami's father said Father says, when sleeping beside granny or mother, baby is like very, very disgraceful. See, you are sleeping beside your granny and you are sleeping beside your mother. You no, know, like that is really a shameful act because now you are not a small boy. You are in your fifth standard now and I don't like the way you are being brought up. So I don't look like the way you are being growing up. So I don't like that because still you are in fifth class and you are still sleeping beside your mother. Now it's a time for you to sleep all alone. That is what he said and father he just lifted his newspaper and then he started reading it again swami rose quietly from his place he rose quietly from his place and he tiptoed he tiptoed in the sense he walked very slowly without like no nobody can hear the footsteps so he walks tiptoe on the toes okay he uh, walked on the toes and uh, he went to his bed, which is under the porch, like some extension of the building. He went under the porch and then Granny was sitting up her inner bed. So by the time it was a time to sleep and all, so Granny was like, no, she was sitting at the, uh, sitting in the bed and she said, boy, you are already feeling sleepy today. Don't you want to hear the story? So when he went there, Granny said that, uh, Swami, now every day you listen to the stories and all like right? don't you want to hear to the story today don't you want to hear the story today so i think you are really feeling asleep you are already you are really feeling asleep so uh, i think you don't want to hear the story today swami made no reply swami made no reply he did not give any kind of reply and he jumped on his bed took his blanket to guess black pulled his blanket over his face took the blanket pulled it over his face completely covered his body with the blanket granny said hey come on uh, child swami don't cover your face with a blanket are you really so sleepy swami uncovered his face a little and said that please granny don't talk to me don't even disturb me even the house is on fire even there's a fire in the, in the house also please don't disturb me because i will die if i don't sleep at once i will die if i don't sleep at once so that is what Swami said. So what happened next? What did his father do and all that we'll see in tomorrow's session. Okay, children, until then, have a great day. And your homework is write all the meanings which we discussed in this lesson. So only the meanings which you discussed this and also which I directly told, which I did not write on the board. Also, you have to write them in your book. Okay, see you then. Until then, have a great day. God bless you.